Tesla has revolutionized road trips by introducing self-driving cars. I now have a personal assistant that can turn off the lights or operate my TV. It's called Google Home. Thanks to artificial intelligence, Sophia the robot became a Saudi Arabian citizen. All these inventions have one thing in common. They all need improvements. But today, I'm here to tell you about the next transformative discovery in our society. Drum roll, please. This soybean. Please raise your hand if you ever use vegetable oil for cooking. Or if you use so soy sauce with sushi or other seafood. Or tofu as a meat substitute. Thank you. This just demonstrated that our lives are surrounded with soybean products. The soybean is a legume that's extensively grown around the world to fill the need for food, feed, fiber, and fuel. And this is because of their protein and oil-rich seeds. In Canada, they're the fourth largest crop. And most of our Canadian soybeans are grown in the eastern and western provinces. But there are many issues with growing soybeans in Western Canada, and the biggest being a lower protein content. So if I was a little happy farmer and I took two identical lines of soybeans and grow them both in the East and Western Canada, the ones in the West have a lower protein content. So in other words, if Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, had to live in Western Canada and had to rely on soybean for his protein supplements, he would have to take the next flight onto Eastern Canada to be able to pursue his bodybuilding career. Of course, it's not feasible. This is a terribly vicious cycle because having a lower protein content has for many years prevented our Canadian soybean from the West from entering the global markets. And so how can we solve this huge issue? At the same time, farmers won't simply grow this if it can be sold. And another remarkable benefit of soybean is that they're good crop rotation partners. What do I mean by that? When we grow soybeans out on the field through a symbiotic relationship with microorganisms in the soil, they fix nitrogen. So while farmers are thinking about the amount of money they're going to make, the soil is going to have a lot of free fertilizer because of the symbiotic relationship. So to, in order to address this huge challenge, um, we have grown a number of lines of identical soybeans, both in eastern and western Canada, and through conducting a technique called RNA sequencing, which allows us to look at the transcriptome. So the transcriptome is a set of data that gives us important information on the way genes are expressed. So what we aim to do at the end of this project is to identify the genes that have changed in the lines that have a lower protein content. And because of the fact that this is an applied science project, and by that I mean it's not going to end up on a shelf as a thesis document, this is actually going to potentially revolutionize the field of agriculture culture in Western Canada. So in order to do that, we, we aim to collaborate with plant breeders to develop new varieties that are better suited for the harsh environments of Western and Northern Canada. So that together, we will not only have happy farmers, but a more robust agriculture system in our country. Thank you.